Hello everybody. My name's Helen Yancey and I am an artist that loves to take pictures and a photographer that loves to paint. Combining the two of them um, has been one of the great joys of my life. And I'd like to show you how to get started with Corel Painter. The very first thing we do, of course, is launch it. And I am launching Corel Painter 2017. But what I want to show you is available to you in previous versions as well as newer versions. The first thing that we see when we open up Corel Painter is the splash screen. And the splash screen gives us so many options. So don't close it right away. You have much to, to gain. First of all, you can click on the tab called Get Inspired. And I'm not going to go through all this, but I get inspired every single time I look at these images. Then I can look at the tab called Learn. And in this tab, there are free webinars available to you. There are free tutorials available to you um, on Painter Artist, which is an amazing place to go. Um, there are content, there is content that is available to you that uh, where you will pay for it, but there is so much for you to find out about uh, at Corel Painter Artist, painterartist.com, um, discovery, and you will find all kinds of things there, brush packs, uh, webinars, webinar of the month, which is free, free webinars of the month. So many, many things to learn, digital art fundamentals, paint your first photo, all kinds of information for you is all there. And see, there are many, many ways to learn and many, many things you can learn just by going through the tab on that splash screen. On this tab that says Get Content, um, I would encourage you to learn what is in Painter uh, in the default, what comes with it first. And I don't mean to unsell Painter brushes. I love them. I own them. I've, uh, I use them. But first, first, start with the basics. So leave this for a while and come back to it after you get familiar. So let's look at the Get Started button. In the Get Started, I can choose a layout. I'm talking to you now as someone who wants to paint their photographs. Uh, for instance, you have a beautiful snapshot of your child or your neighbor's child or your grandchild and you would love to do something more with it. Um, you may be a professional photographer that wants to learn to expand your product line, or you may be an amateur that just wants to make something pretty. In either case, this is a place to start if you are going to paint with photography. So here I can choose a layout. Default, new to painter, and that is one you might want to take a look at. Concept art, fine art, manga art, photo art, illustration, etc. We're going to click on photo art just so we can get started with a layout. And this is what comes up. The very first thing I see, now you have to keep in mind, I have a very large screen and I only use one screen because I have a very large screen. This tab is recent brushes and I'm going to put it over here because I can see it. I do like to have my recent brushes tab or panel out. I like to see it. This is the photo art drawer and Painter 17, uh, 2017 comes with these palette drawers and they are just so nice. Um, however, everything that's in that palette drawer is available to you whether you have the latest uh, version of Painter or not. You have the clone source panel which many of you just getting started using a photograph, you're going to want to use your clone source panel. You have the underpainting, uh, auto painting, and restoration panels. That will open automatically in that palette drawer. I also have my papers palette drawer out so I can choose whatever paper I want. But initially, we're going to start 
just with some very basic fundamental things. And the basic and most fundamental are your color and layers, tabs, or palettes. And they're called tabs, or they're called palettes, or they're called whatever it is you want to call them. But this is in one drawer called colors and layers. Again, if you don't have palette drawers, it's okay. You will still have these available to you. I don't use channels very often, not at initially anyway. So I'm going to put that away because I don't want anything out that is going to uh, give me more information than I want right away. So here's my mixer. I do occasionally use that, but I use it more if I'm painting in a fine art uh, area or illustration, drawing, painting, not so much with a photograph because I will select my color from the photograph. Color set libraries, I'm not going to use right now. So I'm going to keep my desktop as clean as I can. So the very next thing I want to do is open an image. Uh, before I do that, let me show you this. This is in your upper left hand corner. This is your tab that shows you your categories, all the various categories that you have available to you in Painter. I have many more in, in my box than you might um, because, I, because I'm a, a, a junkie about brushes and media. So I have everything I can think of in there. You don't need that many, um, but you will need some basics. And we are going to use a lot of the basics or at least several of the basics as we get started. So this is your categories right here. And in each category, you will see you have different variants. They're called variants or they're called brushes. Um, but these are what you paint with and you can adapt them. As you can see, I have adapted a few. But that's what you want to remember. Over here are your categories, blenders artist oils, artist favorites, airbrushes, acrylics, um, and that kind of thing. And over here on the right hand side are the brushes that go in each different category. So now I'm going to open an image and I'm going to open from my desktop, I hope, Baby Clara. And if I open from within Painter, a PSD file will open in Painter or a JPEG. If I click open from my desktop, it's not going to do that. It's going to open Photoshop. So this is where we're going to start right here with Baby Clara. And you can't say anything bad about Baby Clara because Baby Clara is my grandbaby. And this is her christening uh, picture on, on that very special day for her. So that's how we get started. 